Hey you guys, welcome back to Plot Designs, your style, your budget. Today is going to be a simple tutorial video. I'm going to show you how to make some floating shelves using some 1x2 material and a quarter inch sheet of melamine or plywood. Stay tuned. One, two, three, come on! you are going to want your two 48 inch pieces one's gonna be the back side one is gonna be the front side I've already like I said milled them down they're sanded they're nice and smooth and then we're going to have all of our corner braces we're gonna have five of them we're gonna have two on the outer edges like so and then we're gonna space the other three in the middle and this is going to act as our frame for the shelf. This is where we're gonna be able to screw in the back of this frame into the studs of the wall, make sure it's nice and sturdy, and then we're gonna be putting our sheet on the top and the bottom, and paint it all, and we'll have a nice looking floating shelf. So this is the original pocket hole jig system that I use, and it got me through a lot of furniture builds. It is great for beginners. Basically all you do is you put your wood up, you make sure all your measurements are correct and the instructions tell you how to do it step by step. You'll clamp it down, you'll take your drill with your bit in it and you're gonna screw down into these metal holes and then you'll release it and you'll have a nice pocket hole right here. Uh, that is a great option for those who are looking for a budget friendly option and are new to woodworking. I have upgraded to this model, it's just a lot quicker and I super love it. So. That is what I'm going to use to put all of my pocket holes in these braces. All of our frames are cut and put together. Now we have to worry about putting the top and bottoms on. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I got these two sheets. Just because I didn't want to deal with putting a big four by eight sheet in the car and packing it in here, I decided to buy their four by four sheets, which they have pre-cut in the back. And I am going to cut them down to size. I need a piece for the top of the shelf and a piece for the bottom of the shelf and they are each going to be 12 inches by the 48 inches long. So let's do that. I just finished cutting out the top and the bottom of the frame and the rest is really simple you guys. So I am going to take one of the pieces that I cut and I'm going to place it on my frame. I'm gonna light it up. I am going to glue it and melt it down. And that's pretty much all it takes. Um, I'm only gonna do the one side for now because I am going to paint everything that I need to. And then when I take it over to the client's house, I want to be able to have the frame accessible so that I can screw it into the studs in the wall to make sure it's nice and sturdy. And then we've got our floating shelf and it's really that simple. So let's finish it up.
shelves that I built and I wanted to give a few tips and tricks. Um, I did measure out where my studs are already so that I can screw into the studs. However, there's kind of a lengthy distance right on the edge of my shelf that I feel like I needed a little extra support. So what I did was I put in a drywall anchor. So make sure that if you can't hit studs, you at least use drywall anchors to make sure you're going to get a nice snug fit and it's going to be able to withstand the weight that you put on it. So I have my laser level and I have my spacing. So basically, I'm going to take my shelf and like I said, I only have, I don't have the bottom covered. So I'm going to screw into that back brace into that drywall anchor and then I'm going to also screw two more screws down this side with uh, regular screws right into the studs and I'm also going to make sure I have a level up here so that it's level once I have that screwed on then I can come back I can take my bottom piece and I can go ahead and nail it into that and do whatever touch up I need to with the paint so let's do that. guys some very simple floating shelves i hope you enjoyed the video please comment like and subscribe if you like the content and we'll see you next time